If you're one of those blokes who always gets on, people just take you for a ride. They take advantage of you, they walk over the top of you, and they don't respect you. This is for you. One of the most important things that we can do as men, and for humans in general, is to set boundaries of what we'll accept and what we won't accept. Now, I'll give you an example here. I recently did a podcast with one of my favorite clients ever, really, really awesome dude by the name of Scott Goodrig. And one of the things that Scott had issues with before he came and started working with us was that people would always take the piss out of him. They would take advantage of him, they would expect him to work for free, and they just didn't value him as a human being. And the reason this happened is because Scott actually allowed it to happen. He didn't put firm boundaries in place of what he would accept and what he wouldn't accept. And we as men need to learn how to do this. You see, we're often told to just be nice, play nice, don't make a fuss, just go with the flow and just cop it when people do things that we don't like. This is really, really counterproductive for multiple reasons, both for us and for the people who are screwing us over. If we are always conceding, if we're always copying people's shit and we always take it on board for us, it has a massive detriment to us. That's what's gonna cause us to have lower self-esteem. That's what's gonna cause us to value ourselves less. It's gonna cause us to be more anxious and it's gonna cause us to miss out on a whole heap of opportunities. At the same time, if you don't tell someone who's being a bit of a fuckwit to fuck off and you don't put up that boundary, they don't learn as well. We've gotta think about how humans are. No human wants to be bad. No human wants to be a fuckwit, but they will be that way unless they're told to go themselves and stop doing it. So when you set up a boundary and tell somebody that a behavior is not acceptable, you're actually doing them a favor. Think of with a, with a kid. If you look at children who are never raised to be, uh, never told no, they never said they can't get something, how do they end up? Like little turds, right, most of the time. It's because they've never had a boundary being put in place. And we need to do this for adults as well. So if you're someone who always gets on, if you're someone who always gets taken advantage of, you have anxiety, you have low self-worth, and you wanna fix this, here's what you need to do. Step number one, know what your boundaries are and know what you will accept and what you won't accept, both from the way that you treat yourself and how you treat other people. So for example, for me, what I always set in, in terms of boundaries personally and physically is that I always need know that I need to have abs. That is my boundary, that is what is what I'll accept. I will always be less than 10% body fat, 24-7, 365. If I start getting fatter, I will diet down. I'll make sure that I always sleep well and I'll make sure that I always meditate and take care of myself. That is my boundary, I will always do that. In terms of how people, I allow people to treat to me, I always treat people with respect, I always treat people with love and I expect that in return. If I don't get that, I'm very, very quick to say, hey, don't treat me like that, I'll not accept that. If they choose to not accept my boundary and keep trying to push over the top of it, I'll end the conversation straight away. If we set firm boundaries over what we'll accept for ourselves and how we'll accept others to treat us, we're gonna get a whole lot further in life, we'll be so much happier and we'll have much, much better relationships. I hope this helps you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you got something out of it and you wanna learn more, click the link below or type in High Performance Conversations with James Can, and you'll be able to check out all the podcasts that we've done. We cover a stack of different topics, everything from getting your mojo back, overcoming anxiety, self-doubt, self-esteem, and learning from some of the industries and some of the world's top performers in both business and in health. Look forward to having you on there.